So when do you make histograms? Most often to check if your data are normally distributed. Yeah, it's a very nice way to do this. There is a second way, visual way, to check if your data are normally distributed, and that is a QQ plot. Yeah, it has benefits over the histogram and the density curve. The fact is that in contrast to the, the, the histogram, this QQ plot is not dependent on any settings of any arguments. So where here the setting of bins greatly influences what you see, the QQ plot is always the same. Yeah, It's what it is. So that is the good thing about it. It's less influenced by arguments, but on the other hand, it's harder to interpret because basically when is your data normally distributed? When it follows this black line, yeah? And here in the middle, your points follow the black line, but what about this part and this part? So when do you say, no, this is not good enough? So it's harder to interpret. Here you just see, does it look normal? Like here, yes, I'm happy here. Okay, how do you make a QQ plot? Well, you have, functions for that. These are not geoms, yeah, because he needs to calculate a lot of statistics for this thing. There are stat functions, like stat summary. So stat, stat summary is not the only function in ggplot that can calculate statistics. You also have stat qq that calculates the points, the black points. And you have stat qq line that produces the line that should be followed by the points if they are normally distributed. So that's this thing. And you use them in exactly the same way as you use geoms or stat summary. 